see The world ain't half as bad As they paint it to be If all the sons, all the daughters Would stop to take it in Well then hopefully the hate subsides And the love can begin so today I'm going to be teaching you how I got this Valentine's Day inspired makeup look. It is definitely more dramatic so I would recommend this if you're going out, whether to dinner or even a night out. So don't do this for a daytime look, it's definitely a little bit too much. This is going to be the last video I post before I leave for vacation. So thumbs up if you guys want to see a vlog of me and Brett while we're away in Punta Cana. I can do something like I did for the Miami one. I also wanted to talk about this dress that I'm wearing right now. I found this new website, it's called sexydresses.com. and. I really wanted to share this with you guys because it is a very, very affordable website. You can find all kinds of really cute dresses for a very, very low budget. And I actually got a 10% coupon code for 30 days from today. So besides the fact that they're already low prices, you can get 10% off. So definitely go check out the website. I'll put the links below. And also my necklace. I know a lot of you will probably be asking about because it's so pretty. I'm so obsessed with this. It's from Ludora Boutique. I'm sure you guys have seen me mention her a bunch. All of her jewelry is handmade, so when I got this, I was like, oh my gosh, it has Valentine's Day written all over it. So again, I'll post the links below where you can purchase these, and if you guys want to learn how I did my makeup, please keep watching. First, I'm taking this Vanilla Pigment by MAC, and I'm going to be applying this all over my entire eyelid. Whenever I'm doing a more dramatic eye, one thing I will always do is take a very, very light brown color. I'm just going to take that color from my brow bar, the lighter brown color, and I'm just going to be using this big, fluffy MAC brush, and I'm just going to be going right into my crease. So this is going to show where your crease is, and you're also going to know not to take the darkest color above that point. So as you can see, that just added a little bit of a shadow. And by doing just this little step, it's going to really help bring together the whole look, and it's going to make it look more complete. So my last part wasn't recording when I was recording, but all that I just did was I took this small angled brush and the black eyeshadow from my 120 palette, and what I did is I just drew a short line right underneath my eye, and I extended it outwards. And once you do that, you know you don't want the darker color to go any further than right here. So then I'm just going to take this color and I'm going to drag it up onto my eyelid. taking my smaller MAC blending brush and a little bit of the black on the top, just like barely, barely dipping in, you're now going to blend that in. Next by L'Oreal I'm taking this black gel liner and it's called L'Oreal Infallible Lacquer Liner and it's in black is black and I'm going to be using this small brush and I'm just going to be lining my upper lash line. So at this point you can apply your false lashes. Next I'm going to draw a dark line under my eyes I'm going to be using a little bit of the black and then just a little bit of brown over it. And then using this brown shimmer color I'm going to be applying this right over that. So now we're going to go back to that vanilla pigment we had used first, and I'm just going to make it a little bit brighter on my lid. Then I'm going to be taking this Frost MAC pigment, and I'm just going to be applying just a little bit right on top of that white color. If 
you decide to wear red this Valentine's Day, I do suggest doing a nude lip. I think that looks the best with red. So for this look, I'm using Morning Coffee Lip Liner by MAC. A drugstore alternative is my Jordana Cosmetics Tawny one, but I actually ran out, so I have to go purchase another one. So in the meantime, I'm going to be using my MAC one, and I'm just going to outline my lips. For lipstick, I'm using Myth by MAC, and this is this nice nude color. One thing I always do after I apply my lipstick is I go back to the lip liner and I kind of shade it in a little bit just so it doesn't look like a line and then your lipstick color. And to top it off, I'm using Boy Bait by MAC. It's a cream sheen lip gloss, and it's also a nude color. And this is just going to add a little bit of a glossy look to it. So this is how the final look came out. And I wanted to wish everyone a happy Valentine's Day. I know it's two days early, but I will be away Thursday through Sunday. So I won't be posting a video. So I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. And I promise I will be posting as soon as I get back. I'm pretty sure me and Brett are going to do a vlog while we're away in Punta Cana. So thumbs up if you guys want to see that. And I will talk to you guys soon. Have an amazing day. Might start now.